Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to change the colour of bars in a chart based on a condition. In our example we have the risk adjusted revenue of a credit card product as well as the forecast figures. What we want to do is use a certain colour if the risk adjusted revenue exceeded the forecast and another colour if the RA was below forecast. This will make it easier to visualise which years outperformed and which years underperformed. To start with, we need to tell Excel if the given RA value is greater than or less than forecast. We've included two headings for each respective outcome and we can use an IF formula to display the RA value if it meets one or the other condition. Therefore, if the RA value for 2013 is greater than forecast, then we'll display the RA value. Whereas if the condition does not hold, then we'll leave the cell empty like this. We can now drag this formula across. For the lower than forecast outcome, the only change we'll make is the symbol. Once again, we type equals if, we then check if the RA value is less than forecast. If the condition is true, then we'll show the RA value. Whereas if the condition does not hold, then we'll leave the cell empty. Now that we've prepared our data, we can insert our charts. To do this, we'll select row 2, which contains the years. We'll then hold down the control key and select row 4, which contains the greater than forecast outcome, as well as row 5. We'll then go into the insert tab, click on the charts icon and select the first option. As you can see, Excel is showing the RA over time and using a different colour for those years that underperformed and those years that exceeded the forecast. However, you may have noticed that the bars are not centrally aligned. This is because when one of the two conditions is not met, Excel is treating it as an entry and therefore leaving a space for a separate bar. To overcome this, we can right click on any of the bars, click Format Data Series, and then increase the series overlap to 100%. Now the bars are aligned properly. To format the charts and make it look more visually appealing, we can remove the title and remove the grid lines. Let's say you want to change the colours of the charts. If you want to change the colour of the outperforming years, simply right click one of the outperforming bars, click Format Data Series, and then change the fill colour like this. You can do the same for the underperforming years like this. It's worth noting that the chart will automatically change colour if you change the value of one of the RA figures. For example, let's say that the 2014 figure was below forecast instead of above. As you can see, the colour of the 2014 bar has now changed to reflect this. So that's how you can change the colour of bars in a chart based on a formula or condition. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.